nice and sunny. You are. It's minus one. I've never been so happy to see a negative sign in front of a temperature before. It's okay. It's single digit negatives. This hasn't happened in almost a month. In almost a month. And I feel like I could go out in shorts right now. So we are back in Oslo, and you might remember a building from our first video, but it's a little dark, so let us show you what it looks like now. That is the Oslo Opera House. In all its angular, climby, interestingly glass and, and white marble looking glory. Quite beautiful. And there's the duck feet walking all over the lake here. I think it's a lake. Maybe it's a part of the Norwegian Sea or something, but whatever it is, that's super funny. Look at all the little quack quacks. Quack quack. So this is the story about how we lost 10 pounds each. In uh, a span of three hours. Yeah. yeah. So here's what happened. We went to Tromsø and we put on a few layers. Mm -hmm. Then we went to Svalbard and we put on a more than more a few layers. layers. <laughs> Put on more than a few more layers. Uh, oh boy. And when we came to Oslo, the temperature difference was it was minus 16 to minus 1. So it was a 15 degree difference. And you would not believe how quickly we changed out of our small bar clothes. Everything. Everything. Every, like it, running shoes now no more boots oh i can get into my shoes and out of my shoes more importantly in like seconds individual like single digit seconds i'm wearing one layer of, of pants i get to wear jeans again i haven't worn jeans in ages i'm wearing my light jacket i don't have to wear like five tops layered on top of each other it's just like it's a whole new world yeah. Don't you dare close your eyes. Yeah, but it's, it's fantastic. So that's, that's how you lose 10 pounds in three hours. Yeah. Um, we're going to be selling a fitness course called How to Lose 10 Pounds in Three Hours. But we just gave um, away all the secrets. Well, this is private. Like, we trust our family and friends. Right? Oh, I see. Okay. Do we? I yeah. trust my family. You're good with yours. Yeah, they're, they're not going to give away our secrets. Don't give away our secrets. We're having lunch now. I'm very excited. We found this wonderful, authentic looking Japanese ramen place right beside the um, Oslo Opera House. And like I already miss Northern Norway. When we got out of the airport, like I was like, oh my gosh, like Look at all these buildings and like look at all these people. There's no mountains, everything's so flat. Yeah, yeah, it's interesting. It's super interesting. Um and we got into the Oslo train station and there were more restaurants in the train station oh. than there were in all of Svalbard. Yeah. Yeah. Like it's just I like I'm I'm still adjusting. But it's crazy. It's crazy. I'm looking at a lot of food. Sorry if I seem distracted, but there's there's ramen and kimchi and and some some stuff that's coming. Here we are at the Norwegian Parliament building where Parliament has been sitting since 1866. 1866. Here's the University of Oslo and it's library how giant is the library every single day multiple times a day in yeah. svalbard we would walk up this giant hill to go home to get to our airbnb yeah. and now we're walking up to the royal palace and uh here's the hill that we're contending with i don't even know if you'll be able to tell on camera it's so shallow here's the hill we're walking. Christopher's out of breath. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, there's guards. Oh, there's guards. Oh, there's nobody in that one. There's a changing of the guard. Okay. I know that didn't look like a hill. However. <laughs> 
Look how low that is. Look how far down that is. There's a hill. Standing by that. My ugly baby. The cutest branding. And we got a, well, I cut a, oh, <laughs> we got a grapefruit donut. That's a lie. We got a passion fruit donut. We got a passion fruit donut. <laughs> <laughs> we were just looking for a cafe because uh, Jessica wanted some hot chocolate. Uh, I definitely didn't have any. Um, but like, we're like my ugly baby Vika because the, the mm -hmm. plaza that it's in is Vika. And we're like, did somebody name this after their, you know, people name cafes <laughs> like Cafe Jessica after their, their firstborn or something like that. Uh, and they're like, oh, well, we do want to start a cafe, but let's call it my ugly baby. Um, thankfully not the case. Apparently it's because the donuts, sometimes they come out all misshapen and weird. Um, and they're ugly babies. Mm -hmm. Because the donut is, is the person's baby. Look, I found a pink building. There wouldn't be a video of mine without a pink building. Madam, you oh, have chocolate. Thank you. Oh, you're quite welcome. So, you know those hearts and windows I was talking about? We're in Oslo, and there's another one. And look, it's just a really beautiful street. We're at? Wagner Parkin. Wagner Parkin! It is Lens Parkin. Here we are. At the park, and we have found the park's infamous statue. The angry boy. Evening in Oslo. Good it evening. is almost seven o'clock. It's not as dark in real life as it looks on the camera, but I guess that's just it picking up the light. We're about to be washed out, I think, by the lights, but look at a really gorgeous, like, I want to say Christmas lights, but it's not Christmas anymore. All the lights lighting up this, like, terrace where there's a restaurant. But everything's closed on Sunday, so it's just kind of a peaceful walk through the park. Mm -hmm. We are here at a Eritrean restaurant. Got a petite. Good morning, Oslo. Hello. We are at the Supreme Court of Norway, yeah. which is a lovely tradition that we have developed in the mornings. We'll grab a coffee. Well, Christopher will grab a coffee for me. <laughs> Today, we learned that there are no cases that are being heard at the Supreme Court, but the lovely security people um, actually opened the door for us and let us peek through, and it was so nice in there. Happens. Thank you for traveling. The airport is first 